right? Some real shit for you niggas. Uh-huh. Check it out. Am I weak or am I strong? Can my mind carry me on? I'm striving to get this money, but Kyra say that is on. Who am I not to do me, nigga, and get it on? I'm striving to get this money, but Kyra say that is on. I'm having dreams of my enemies killing me. Cause the way I be chasing my currency and dealing with bitches who work on their knees. The bees are young G, so I don't sleep. Cause I got seed to feed, so I take no dose. To ride with calicos and 40 bows. Made me a sick individual. Mind of a criminal, acts of a serial killer, nigga. Don't let me get at you. Gotta get this money, nigga. I be damned if I'm bummy while laughing at you niggas. Getting this cake, you niggas fake. Shoot the A out the cake, so what can I say? These framing niggas don't play. RIP A wall, scream a fuck all y'all gon' stand tall. Am I weak or am I strong? Can my mind carry me on? I'm striving to get this money, but Kyra say that is on. Who am I not to do me, nigga, and get it on? I'm striving to get this money, but Kyra say that is on. Am I weak or am I strong? Can my mind carry me on? I'm striving to get this money, but Kyra say that is on. Who am I not to do me, nigga? And get it on. I'm striving to get this money for cars. Say that it's on. You know, we don't want to offend nobody or make nobody feel uncomfortable and stuff. You know, yeah. motherfucker's crazy out here. Motherfucker texted me last time on that shit. Right. Yeah, that was deep. <laughs> did, you, did you ever? Did you ever talk to him? Yeah. Yeah. What did they say? Everything squashed. Yeah. So they uh. Yeah, we talked. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I mean, what was crazy. the like? You don't, you know, you ain't got to tell me the conversation, but what was the like? What's the premise of what was the? No, you know what I mean. Some people feel like they be really trying. I'm, I'm gonna give you the real answer in a row. Some people really feel like they traumatized. So anything that's made in the slightest reference to anything that they've been through, they can bring that up and try to you. You know what I mean? It's a trigger for their trauma. And, like, I don't know what she been through or what was going on in her life or what even made her, you know, say the things or act, you know, bring up that conversation like if somebody was trying to offend or talk about a whole class of people when we ain't even in a position to be racist. You know what I mean? Right. Like, how the hell can we be racist <clears throat> with all the stuff that we've been through? Like, I've never seen mobs of uh, black people... Um, Storming, the, you know what I mean? Just with pictures of like white people hanging from trees, like I ain't never seen right. that. So how can we be racist and shit? And, and even if you do find some racist black people, it's only because of what they've been what through they or been what through. they seen or what they people seen or what they people been through. And that's so it's like yeah, so it's like hey man, they don't like us, we don't like them. Fuck them, you know what I mean? Fuck them, but. You <laughs> straight up, you, that's a learned behavior. Yeah, like race. You, you definitely can't be racist if you don't have the system to depress a whole nother gener a whole nother um class of people. Class of people. You yeah. know, that's impossible. How could you how could you be racist then? Yeah. You could be you could be prejudiced though. You could have different prejudices of anything. Like I don't yeah. I could not like the color orange. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't like the color orange neither. You know, that's man. just like, that's just a prejudice, you know? Yeah. But mm -hmm. For, but they, they use the color orange though, like they've been using it. They was using it before the orange agent orange. Agent orange <laughs> <laughs> got into the office. And hey, shit, but look, you know look, look. I mean? Let's tell the people for for the people that don't know. Last time we um, you can just pull it too. Last time we um oh, had a show, we was talking about Nick Cannon situation. We Man. was talking about Nick Cannon getting fired. Hold on, hold on. A disclosure. Hit yeah. him with the disclosure. Look, whatever we talk about is. The reflection and the views of these two individuals that are been, you know, going through and, and been through so much in our lives. So this is not this conversation ain't to offend you. Please don't take this conversation personal. It's a conversation that you might want to listen to. You and, know and you know, the sad part about that is we supposed to have up. freedom of speech, <laughs> and nowadays you're not allowed to have freedom of speech. No, you know, it's like you gotta give disclaimers. No. Keep, comedians can't get on stage even crack jokes no more without somebody want to do the whole catch up, cancel culture and all that crazy oh, shit. You man. know what I mean? But um, so there. Last time we were sitting down talking, mm -hmm. we was talking about Nick Cannon's situation. We was talking about him having an interview yeah. with Professor Griff yeah. and how Nick Cannon got fired for what they was talking about. The conversation was deep. You know and, what I mean? As soon as we got done talking, or as we was talking about it, yeah. somebody that Fargy know <laughs> inboxed him and said, "I can't believe that you that you are um, perpetuating the stereotypes of 
this and that and third. I can't believe that you that you that you hate us. And I guess she was a, she was Jewish, I guess. So she figured we hate Jews because we was talking about Nick Cannon getting fired for his comments. And how Hollywood and how Hollywood is ran by a majority of Jewish yeah, people. If anybody knows the banks and Hollywood is majority ran by Jewish people. Yeah. That's it's not very, a, that's not a secret. You I mean, know. They try to keep it but it's it it's supposed to be a secret or something. I don't know. It's yeah, it's like it's, different. It's it's very all, different. The culture is different. All that is is people like they that want, want people to keep to the power. They want to keep the power. Right. That's the bottom line. Supremacy. You know, they, it boils down to like white supremacy. And at that moment, you know, after having that conversation, you just realize how real it is. Like even us having a conversation about something that's dear to us can ultimately be suppressed by somebody else in their opinions upon the conversations that we are having. Like, right. and that just blows me right there. That, that, that blows me. And, and, and like we said, the funny part was <laughs> we was talking about Nick Cannon and his yeah, situation. Nick Cannon ain't got nothing to do with us, <laughs> man. Know, like, you know, we like, ain't nowhere near Nick Cannon, man. Come on, man. Know, so that's how that goes, though. But, yeah. you know, that's going to be that, there. Yeah. We, know, we squashed it, though, man. We squashed that okay. whole situation. So I still want to know what was what was... What did she say though? Like far as what did you what did she, what what did you leave the table? What did you leave the conversation with? Like what did you get from her? Man, it's a it's a mutual respect. It's a mutual respect, and that's just because. Did I'm, she apologize? I'm, yeah, most you know, most she did? definitely she apologized. <laughs> and what was the mean? apology for? <laughs> and, and I apologized too. Though. Okay, okay. What was you hers for? I mean? Okay, what like was it was a mutual what, respect. What was hers for? for? And then I want to know what was yours for. What was your apology for? Let's Man. Go. Let's start with Let's you. talk about what it. What did you apologize for? <laughs> Let's it? talk about I it. I want to know uh, what did you apologize for? No, you Why know what I mean? Why did you feel the need to apologize? Just because I'm a cool-ass dude. Like, so what did you apologize for? Um, I apologize for, like, interpreting it the way that I did. And instead of having it, like, we was in the middle of a show, so it definitely, um, we talked about it. You know what I mean? And we had that discussion. And I ain't paused. You know what I mean? Sometimes when certain things... In order to keep your composure, sometimes you gotta pause in the situation and really reflect on it. You know what I mean? So you know, you know, do nothing that's like so emotional. Did, so did you feel you was wrong? No, not at all. Not at all. I ain't feel wrong at all. But sometimes. So what did you apologize for once again? Like I, <laughs> that's what I because I ain't paused. I didn't pause and, and actually deal with that situation the way that it needed to be dealt with. I just kept going instead of me pausing. Handling that situation over the phone and then continue with the conversation. I handled that conversation live <laughs> on Facebook. Uh, you know what I mean? I handled that conversation so, okay, live on I Facebook. See. You're talking about you apologize just for you reacting. reacting to what she did. Yeah, I'm not. Oh, we we not. We not supposed to react. In all, in all honesty, oh. I feel as black men, we supposed to move it with like 85 percent intellect and like 15 okay. percent emotion. I so thought you meant you apologize for the Nick Cannon's discussion. Hell no. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> no, like, that, that that was that was, was a conversation confused. we was having. No, I, I, I was I, like, "What?" I, I apologize for okay. reacting like and it. not pausing at that moment and I just hitting it. that phone and saying, "Yo, we need to talk about what's going on with these text right. messages." Like okay. we just went straight into the discussion, and it was raw as hell. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And that's the one thing that I love about the shit that we do. You know what I mean? Right. It's, it's raw, uncut. When we go it live, scripted. it ain't scripted. Mm -hmm. We go live, we get the opinions of people, the people that actually get a chance to view us on our, on the live feed. You know, it's interesting, you know. Right. Yeah, okay. So I, I was a little confused for a second. Yeah, I thought yeah, you apologized yeah. for the Nick Kenny conversation. Uh, no, no, say, no, 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 no. And then she, she apologized for sending me the initial text. Right. Okay. And then, and then she didn't realize that we were actually still in the middle of of doing what we were doing. Okay. You know, so it, it's a mutual respect okay. thing. I respect her okay. view. You know what I mean? She respect my view. And bygones be bygones. You okay. know what I mean? Well, that's love, we man. That's love. That's, yeah. the, that's, that's a um, great example to set. Yeah, man. We yeah. got to live by this shit. Like, no doubt. man, we, we, I definitely, man, we I definitely die. Was, too I definitely soon was going to get on you if you was apologizing for the Nick Cannon conversation. No, man, hell no. That was going to. No. That was the conversation okay. we needed to have. 
All right, well, I'm yeah. glad that y'all got that off y'all chest and y'all cool. <laughs> I just feel like some uh, Dr. Phil type hey, shit. Man. But hey. it's the real that shit. That was some real shit. That was some real shit, and that shit we deal with all day. Like, right. it's people in our life. You know what I mean? To be on the real topic of it is like a suppression of our voice. Right. You know what I mean? And we got we we given a voice for multiple reasons. Everybody got one. Everybody got a superpower of shit. We could do this shit the way it needs to be done without all the emotional reaction and shit, you know? Well speaking of voices, why don't we talk about your boy Agent Orange? Agent Orange, man. Let's talk about this um election that's coming up. Yo, this is a vital topic, uh disclaimer. Um register to vote. Um, stop playing with yourself. Look, if if you can't vote personally <clears throat> due to circumstances or whatever the fuck happened when it happened, <clears throat> then you should have had like 10 people to vote for you, in my opinion. Right. Me personally, um, I don't believe in the whole presidential voting thing. Yeah. I believe in voting for your, your neighborhood, like for the police and yeah. for the teachers and... I believe in voting locally. I don't believe in voting for presidents because I believe they're um, they're they're um, so you selected. Ain't, you, not you, you ain't elected. vote for Obama? Nah. I don't what? No, no. Nah, nah. Oh, see, that's why Me? this shit was nah. too close. See what I'm saying, nah. man? No, nah, man, we gotta vote. Shit. Nah, I don't we believe gotta, in. I don't mess with Democrats or Republicans. Me neither. So, I mean, who we, we going to vote for? Then we do, the, the independent party we, can't win because they don't got the money behind them. We too busy worried about them motherfuckers. What you mean? Why, 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 we, why we not getting in office? Well, that's... Nick, that's niggas another, go to jail for 15 years, hold but listen, can't go to school on, we can't, we for gotta, four years we to become a congressman. But hold on, you can't jump And to, make way more money than a motherfucker that just... You can't have two different conversations years. at once, though. You said, why don't we get into our office? We though? have... I mean, eventually, for one, we have to understand, we got to vote. We got to vote. And then... The motherfuckers in the neighborhoods that's going crazy, doing whatever they doing, they leaders. Some of the motherfuckers is okay, leaders. Okay, listen though, you said we gotta vote, right? Yeah, you gotta if we vote. only could pick from Democrats and Republicans, what are we really voting for? I'm saying we gotta start getting to the position where we voting for ourselves. Exactly. What we need to we well, don't understand. Well, that start the whole with the thing. well, that start with the kids though. So that start from instead exactly. of teaching your kids to play football and basketball, you teach we them need to, to vote. teach them to be in politics. We need yep. to teach them how to be the DAs yep. and the prosecutors yep. and stuff and the judges. Yeah. In that case, yeah. But that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So I'm with that. That shit. I'm with that. We can still do that, that shit too on anything. It's I'm it's a that. it's a man that um got slammed. You know what I'm saying? For some shit that he did when he was 16. Motherfucker came out like 10, 15 years later. I don't know the exact number, but he was able to work his way into the uh, congressional house. Oh, well, that's just... Well, he's not in the congressional house, but... He right down the block. He, I mean, you know what I mean? He at the Senate, the Capitol. Okay. Now, I was going to say, that's just like the story we do for that TV show for Life is based on. Mm -hmm. He ain't a Senate, but he's a lawyer now. And yeah. All that nah, good stuff. All that but, shit. Yeah. Motherfuckers so, still do that shit, but we still be risking our life like... Now, I'm with that. I'm with teaching our kids Boy. how to get into the system instead of playing sports. Yeah, I'm get with it that. To, get you know into it. The, the debate teams, that shit. We need, to take, we need to take the money out of politicians because, like I said, the independent party can't win because they don't got the money back. They, they, they yeah. don't got the funding. And but, then they... Have, in all honesty, the independent party be looking like a bunch of weirdos sometimes. But that's what we they need. They come out though. of nowhere, just whole weirdos. Like, well, who is this guy? We like, need to switch it up, though. Like I yeah. said, the, the Republicans and Democrats, the left wing, the right wing belongs to the same bird. So it's, all, we, it's all, like, in all honesty, uh, conversations, like, it was the Democrats that kept us in slavery. Exactly. A lot of people right? think because you're black, you're supposed to vote for Democrats. Yeah. That's another thing, too. It's like, why can't we listen to, okay, say a Republican gets up there and talk. We supposed to take the good and the bad out of what that person said. A, 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 a Democrat get up there. We supposed to take the good and the bad. Why is it if I'm a Republican, I'm only voting Republican? Like that's crazy. That's that's, that's fucking that's, that's robotic. That's a system. That's a that's system, system that right? They systematic. That's systematic. Created a long time ago. Exactly. And that's the system that they promote on other countries. And that's how a lot of wars get influenced. 
Like, yeah. the same things that work here don't work in other countries. And, and like, we probably one of the only countries that's stationed everywhere across the world. It's, and you know why that is, though? Because we don't have no natural resources. Right. Our dollar ain't, our dollar is zero because it ain't even backed by and, and we push politics. And, yeah, so we, we stay. push politics. So we stay in all them other countries for, yeah. we, could, for we could control what's going on and yeah. take the resources. We got the biggest guns. That's it. That's why, <laughs> that's why America is still the best we country got the in the world. We got the biggest guns. And yeah, we man, it's come all, in, it's all like, BS. It's colonizing behavior, man. Like anybody voted for Obama because he was black, but look man. what Obama did to Africa. And if you don't know, do your <laughs> he, research. He did Gaddafi. Yeah, yeah. You know what he did mean? to Gaddafi. And why did he do that to Gaddafi? Why, do man, your research. It's, 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 you know? it's, it's deep, man. We live, in a, we live in a crazy world. You know what I mean? That's why we have to have these conversations to kind of wake people up to, you know, shake them a little bit. Like, this is a real conversation about politics and the whole election that's coming up. Like, And look at this, how brainwashed they got. This is how brainwashed they got us. If I'm a Democrat and you're a Republican, mm -hmm. you got grown men, grown women out there fist fighting over a, a party. Man. Fist fighting over a party. But I'm a Democrat, you're a Republican. <laughs> They've been doing that since they landed over here. Fist well, fighting anything. over a party, man. The, the, uh, the French Revolution, all them early wars, uh, the Boston Tea Party, all that type of it's shit that crazy, happened. Man. Like, they've been beefing with politics, god dang it, since the beginning of America. And then they took that same conflict elsewhere to the world. And there's other countries out here that ain't having it, you know, and I don't blame them, like... We don't got no Chinese army stationed over here. Right. <laughs> you know what I mean? Crazy. Like, it, it, it's wow, man. It's wow. But I don't know, though. So, who, so, Agent Orange, so man. Say we we got to um, do something about that. But, you know. I think he's a spoiled kid, bro. So, say we get Agent Orange out of there, and the only person we got to pick from is it, Biden. Is Biden. Right? Now, what do we expect for this dude to do for, I guess we'd say, for the black black community man, what do we expect for him we, to do we, we really can't expect neither one of them to do shit for us you know what i mean like the only thing that we could uh expect from biden is to like just do something different man i was i, I drove to um forest lake you know what i mean to have some business earlier and i pull into this dang on shopping mall like this dude trump got like stores set up in these little bitty towns where they sell Trump gear, bro. Oh, yeah. Walked in that joint. They 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 flying a flag that has a snake in the middle of it. But you'll have a lot of people to say that he did the most for black people than, Man, than bro, ever. Because he gave us some money, dog. That shit. Yeah. And then you know that, what I mean? then he let that, niggas take he let he let niggas take days off of work and still get paid. And, and shit. then that money that he he gave to the colleges. But like I keep telling people, yes, he did donate money to the colleges, but they don't know about the. The um, grants, or I can't exact, remember exact word it is, but he blocked something else. So it's like yeah. if I run in your house and take two million, and I see you on the news talking about you got robbed and you're poor, and, and then I come back and give you ten thousand, you know what I mean? It's the overlay mm -hmm. for the underlay. Yeah, ten thousand a lot of money in cash. You, you know, I done took two million for you, but I doubled back and gave you a hundred thousand. Yeah, that's you the, know, uh, the overlay for the 40, 40, 48 laws of power. You know what I'm talking about? So right. I don't know exactly what he did as a breakdown as far as I'll be asking people, like, what exactly did he do for the black community? Man. And when you say the black community, this is another thing. So it's a state, what was that? Is it South Carolina or North Carolina where they passed the reparation situation? That was, that was South Carolina. But it's not in the terms of money. Money. It's in the terms of, of equity. We're going to give this to the black community. What exactly are you going? What is the black community? Is it only black people that live in that community? What they it, what they did what they did was nice. It was real nice. It was kind of like those uh, excuse me, like them small business loans that went out. You know what I mean? Like a lot of people jumped on that opportunity. You know what I mean? Did some whatever whatever they did, but you know it's a, it's like all type of people getting charged with like crimes right now. You know what I mean?